underdog. Why did I watch this? Why do I have this? Well, the first thing I'm going to tell you is keep an eye out for Disney movies because they're going to go out of print. They're slowly sliding out of print. Just tons and tons of Disney movies are going out of print right now because of Disney+. Plus. They are no longer, you know, in some countries they're not even making DVDs of their newer movies like Frozen 2 and things like that. This could happen in the U.S. They are sliding their movies out of print. So... I'm keeping my eyes peeled for stuff, so I'm picking up as many Disney movies as possible as, you know, I can get at reasonable prices for this reason. And so this was five bucks, and I bought it at Walmart, and I thought, okay, you know what, I remember seeing this movie. I don't necessarily remember liking it, um, but I was like, okay, let me watch it, and uh, it stars Jim Belushi, Dave from Alvin and the Chipmunks as underdog in this uh, wonderful family picture. Let's get one string th thing straight. I cannot speak today. Let's get one thing straight. I have not seen any of the underdog cartoons so I can't tell you how accurate it is to the source material but I can tell you it's a bad movie whether it's accurate to the source material or not and I guarantee it's not accurate because first of all in the cartoon the dog walks on four legs and flies around or he stands upright he doesn't well he doesn't have he has like two legs he's he walks upright like a human would. He doesn't, I, I believe and he lives in like a world of dogs. That's not this movie at all. Um, this movie has Patrick Warburton and Peter Dinklage. First of all, if Patrick Warburton is in your movie and he's not funny, you have screwed up so hard. The script here is terrible. All the jokes are terrible. <laughs> There's none. They're all very juvenile. They're very... Ha ha, dogs lick their own butts. Ha ha, ha ha, dogs don't understand people stuff because the dog can talk. And so this movie is just like, it's just, it's a movie where this dog gets superpowers and then, you know, they named, first of all, like, who names their dog Shoeshine? Who thought that was an acceptable thing to write in the script? They named their dog Shoeshine. Because normal people name their dog Shoeshine. Like, what the hell? And yet... It's not the worst. Like, the, the, the script, the dialogue here is terrible. A lot of the performances here are terrible. Come on. You got Peter Dinklage in your movie. Fantastic actor. I actually really enjoyed him in Infinity War as the giant dwarf. Um... Which I thought was pretty funny. I also enjoyed um, him in like Elf and things like that. He's funny and he's funny and he's been in a lot of good movies. Awful in this movie. You, it, it, you know, some of the actors feel like they're trying. Like uh, the main kid in this movie, what's his name? Peter Dunklage or no? That says Dinklage. I misread it. <laughs> I'm trying to I tried to see his name. Because they don't have his name. He's only been in three movies. But I, I, you felt like he was trying. But his line delivery was just off. And he just he didn't sound like he wanted to be there. And he was clearly too old to be in this movie. I don't know. It, uh, because his like voice was cracking. I don't know. But it just like. Why, why did this movie happen? Like. Was anybody calling for an underdog movie? It's not even like the cartoon, so even if you were, you didn't get what you wanted. And I guess as, like, a family movie, it's acceptable for your children. Like, not for you to watch with your children. You know, there's family movies that you can watch with your kids, like Finding Nemo. You can watch that with your kids. You can enjoy the movie. But then there's movies like this, which the kid would find funny. But in five years, they're going to grow up. 
watch it again and be like, I like this crap. So why not just show them a good movie that you can watch with them, you know? That's the thing there. Just this is, yeah, it's, it's dumb and stupid and kids can watch it, but is it good? No. So just show them a good movie. And believe me, this movie is pretty bad. You know, it's like, I, I, they also did like the Superman, the movie sequence. Uh, you know what I'm talking about where he comes to Lois's house dressed as Superman. She doesn't realize he's Clark Kent and then they fly around. It's that with dogs. I don't have anything particular to pick or say about it. I just, it's just a thing I, I noticed. Um, the ending is really bad though because it's like also this movie is kind of awkwardly edited it's like scenes go on for a little too long and it's really ridiculously short it's not even an hour and a half it's like an hour and 21 minutes or something like that and um, it was like a sequence where the underdog like flies into the air, atmosphere burns a uh, flies out of the atmosphere. So first of all, this dog can sleep. Uh, this dog can survive in space without oxygen. Because he's just a normal dog with some, like, science pill that gave him powers or whatever. Maybe that was one of them, but it wasn't clear. And then he, like, flies down and catches on fire. So now he's flame retarding or what? He's not flammable? <laughs> like... I don't know, but I, I, I just, it happened in this movie, and I, I saw it, and I sat here, and I watched it in my room, alone, in that bed behind you, on that TV behind you. When are movie theaters opening again in my hometown? Oh, yeah, Friday. Please, dear God. Please open Friday.